Sanisu to our second to last edition of KSSH News at Noon. I'm Haley Hemenick. And I'm Natasha Sill. Yep, it's almost over. Finally. <laughs> hey Hannah, what are you doing? Oh, hey Miho, I'm just looking at some high school memes. The only thing is, I feel like there's a lot of finals ones out there. Like, here, like, look at this one. And then this one, it's like I'm being attacked by finals. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder who's doing that. It's probably not a student. I don't know. I wonder. And submit. Excellent. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Let's indulge all you seniors out there with the second installment of the top 10 seniors of 2012. Hi, I'm here with your number six favorite senior, Thomas Morgan Roth. Um, Wait, these are favorites? I thought yeah. this was like most interesting or something like no, that. No, it's like top favorite. Oh, all right. Okay, you're not interesting, you're just a favorite. What is something that you can do that most people can't do? Um, well, I'm, I'm really good with a bow and arrow. And when I was 17, I actually got selected to compete in um, our regional games with my friend Katniss. I'm here with your top fifth favorite senior, Jovi Castillo. It's actually Hovi, or Robot Jovi, but you know. Okay, and why do you think you won? Well, probably because I'm, I'm Jovi, you know, I can't really explain it. It's, it's just one of those things, it's one of the mysteries of the world. Okay, and then what's something you can do that nobody else can do? I'm actually a fish whisperer, you know, I, I can read fish's minds. It, it's weird, I know, right? I'm here with your top four favorite senior, Savannah Geimer. So, Savannah, why do you think you won? Um, I think I won because, um, I guess I'm loved in a weird way. And you guys all like me, I like all of you. And you just want to see my locker, that's why. And who are you most obsessed with in the world? Well, that would have to be Flake Anderson from Workaholics. As you all know, it's not even a secret anymore. Um, right here, the best day of my life, November 28th, 2011. He called me cute on Twitter. Are you going to vote in the national election? Um, I'm still a toddler. Well, maybe next time. Haley Hemnick here. It's an exciting time of the year with many of us graduating. But leaving high school also means becoming an adult. So, Santa Sue, what do you think is the most important thing to do when you turn 18? Tattoo and piercings. Buy lottery tickets. <laughs> Get my green card. You should go skydiving. So, Miss Wallach, what's the most important thing to do when you turn 18? Register to vote. And why is it so important for young people to vote? You have to be part of the community. You have to be part of your country. Otherwise, you're not going to keep a democracy. So you need to get out there, research um, the propositions, and vote for who you believe in and what you believe in. So Darren, you did your senior project on teen voting. Why do you think the voter turnout is so low in teens? Uh, a lot of teenagers believe that voting is really difficult or it's going to take a lot of time, and it's really not. It's really simple. And what if you don't know everything on the ballot? Should you still fill it out? No, you don't have to fill everything out. It's if you feel really strongly about something, you go and fill out just that particular thing on the ballot. Our last dance concert starts on the first day of June. That's tomorrow! <laughs> I sound like a baby. I love to dance because it gives me confidence and freedom. The word, like, release. Like, not, like, it doesn't have to be, like, release something, but just, like, it's a release. because I can express myself in ways other than words through my body. I love to dance. I don't know. I love to dance because it makes me happy. I love dance because it makes me feel free. It's the best way that I know how to get rid of my anger and my just throw away all of my emotions. Um, I love to dance because I love feeling free on the stage and the fluidity and the motion just takes over and I just feel calm or excited or whatever emotion I'm portraying. Sarah Akberzi went looking for the freshman with the highest GPA. But she hit a snag. Watch this. That's right guys, Zara Berzi here. I would be interviewing the smartest freshmen right now, but they're over 30 with a GPA 4.0. Because some may not know, but when you're a freshman, you can't take any AP classes. So I couldn't interview them all, but here's a few. What was your middle school GPA? Um, it was a 4.0. 
My middle school GPA was a 4.0. My middle school GPA was a 4.0. What's one other piece of advice for others to excel here at Santa Sue? Just to always work hard and turn your assignments in on time and not slack off. Put all of your effort into everything that you do because like even when you get a simple worksheet, just put all of your effort into it because it shows your teachers that you care. Do you think you could be Santa Sue's next valedictorian? I'm planning on taking like AP classes to get possibly higher than a 4.0. So yeah, I think I'd give it a shot. It'd be good to like be named valedictorian. I'm not one of the students that wants to take like five or six AP classes, so I'm not really sure. I mean, it'd be nice and I'll try. Watch out class of 2015. One of these freshmen may be your valedictorian. It's time for some end of the year housekeeping. Here's a message about lockers. Welcome to Locker Wars. All right, you got five minutes to look, but don't touch and don't go in. Good luck. Have fun. You know, I saw potential in that locker. I'm not exactly sure what's inside, but I want it. I want it bad. Bidding will start at five dollars. Do I have five dollars? Five dollars. Five dollars. Go ahead. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. Fifteen. Fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Fifteen dollars. Fifteen. Do I have fifty? Twenty. 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 Twenty dollars. Yes. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-five. 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 One. One. Twenty. Twice. Sixty. 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 That's right, Santa Sue. If you don't clean out your lockers on June 5th during 7th period, your stuff will be thrown away. Up next, Colleen Day with a report on the state of our school clubs. Which clubs will be back next year, which won't survive the summer. Check this out. Thanks. Club advisors and presidents tell me that their clubs are doing well in case you'd like to join them next year. There are resilient clubs that continue year after year like sports, art, and thespian drama. Then there are the clubs that are run by and started by the students. These include Gay Straight Alliance, Philosophy, and Toastmasters. These clubs have either started this year or have been continuing on for a while. I'm here with President of Strange Encounters Club, Emily Smith. We had 15 to 20 students come like every club meeting pretty much. That's great, and you guys have a president already selected for next year. Yes, we have chosen our new club president and hopefully she is prepared to start the club up again. With seniors graduating, some clubs will lose their longtime members. Because clubs require members to run, they are always on the hunt for new recruits. I'm here with President of International Club, Lou Hahn, and Co-President Ryan Mashab. And most of our members are seniors who are going to be graduating soon. So it would be really great if you guys could, as underclassmen, join International Club and reinvigorate the entire thing. Um, hopefully it could get back to the way it was at the beginning of the year, where there weren't even enough seats for people in the club. While most clubs did recruit ample new members, there are some that didn't. I'm here with President of Riders Club, Kim Seligan. Kim, can you tell me why the club's doing so bad? No one's coming. Do you think there's a chance the club will continue on to next year? Yeah, I think it'll come on. I mean, there's always riders in the school. So, and Mr. Colmeyer, I mean, he's not going to let it die. In addition to riders, Anime Club does not look like it will be continuing on to next year. We'll be sad to see them go. Back to you in the studio. Here's more about you, the viewer. It's another Man on the Street with Brooke Ludwig. Hey Santa Sue, Brooke Ludwig here with another Man on the Street question for you. What's your pet peeve? When people say swag. The sound of styrofoam rubbing together. When people try to engage in conversation in the restroom, that's a no-no. Mine is when people are talking on the phone when they're driving and they're not supposed to. It's really annoying when people fart in class and like don't admit to it because like we all know you farted and you should just like own up. Dolphins really annoy me. They're my pet peeve. So yeah, I have a I have a pretty big pet peeve actually. It's um it's when people say the word across. For example, he went across the street, and that word doesn't exist. When people chew their gum as loud as they can and they pop it in their mouth and you can hear it just ah. People who tell me to go to the quad after school, like go to the quad. And also when people offer you a handshake in the bathroom. Not good. When my nail polish chips. I don't like when you're texting someone and then they never text you back and then you feel like you're mad, they're mad at you. 
My biggest pet peeve would probably have to be when a skinny girl who's obviously skinny is like, I'm so fat. Want to know what my pet peeve is? It's when people don't show respect for each other. My biggest pet peeve, when people eat with their mouths open. John Donnelly. When buttons come off my shirt. My pet peeve is when people interview me. <laughs> what are you doing? Eating. It's one of my pet peeves, pe people smacking their lips. I was so good. Okay, I was just looking back in my old yearbooks. They're so full of great memories. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have any old yearbooks, so. Well, you can get this one. I don't have money. Hey, John, you want to sign my yearbook? Sure. Where's your yearbook? Oh, I don't have a yearbook. Johnny! Who's there? I am the yearbook salesman. Well, what do you want? I am the yearbook salesman. And you need to buy a yearbook, Johnny. Eh, maybe. I don't know. If you buy now, you get a free DVD year disc. Eh, maybe. I don't know. But wait, there's more. If you buy now, we'll double the offer. Really? No, not really. Then I better go buy mine now. That's the way it is. May 31, 2012. And we'll see you next week for the final show of the year. Have a great day, Santa Sue! Ha! And that's the way it is. May 31, 2012. And we'll see you next week for the final show of the year. Have a, Have a great, great day, day, Santa, Santa Sue! Sue. <laughs> I can never say it. <laughs> Have a great day, Santa, Santa Sue! Because I don't know if the person's going to do it long or short. <laughs> <laughs> what one? Yeah. What one? Actually, there you were a lot in there that I think we could use. Yeah, really? hey. I do too. Hey, hey. I'm in the booth, it was good.